300 food, 360, you'll see it's a bit like what Beatrice told you. The concepts are changing in consumption. There's a good perception towards food, but some concerns as well. I'll, we'll see this in detail. There's a liking to eating better and being responsible. So there's a few figures to show that uh, consumption is evolving, especially among millennials. A good uh, perception of the food supply. They have uh, generally a good opinion in all countries. 93% people uh, think that have a good opinion of uh, the food supply. The thing is, this on, only 22% people say that they have a very good perception of this food supply, which doesn't seem so bad, but on the, it's uh, beyond all other countries. And uh, so it's only a th third uh, who think that they have a very good food supply. So you see that a lot of uh, French people are not too enthusiastic. So they are more concerned than others. Uh, we trust, our trust is restored because uh, in the last edition we saw that trust was going down and now there's more and more trust and not among uh, youngest population. Millennials are still concerned concerning uh, uh, food, but 84% of French people say that they trust in their food supply and it's uh, eight pounds better than last edition. And, and the last edition on the opposite, they lost trust. So over 16% uh, people uh, say, say that they don't trust uh, food at all, food supply at all, but uh, you know, still it's going better, it's improving. And on top of it, the food supply meets their expectations. What they expect from food is pleasure, variety, uh, taste. So these are their main expectations and to have a balance uh, food and this, uh, we ha the food supply meets their expectations. They want a food that uh, meets uh, the expectation to vary their uh, their lunches or their dishes. And you know, they, it's not, they don't find it so healthy, but um, we can do better you know, concerning health. A food that enables them to live longer, not to gain weight, and also. Uh, the price is also quite a strong criterion this coming year. As I said, food for the French are, is a pleasure among all. This is a national difference. It's very important in France as well as in Spain. So these are the two countries that consider that food as a pleasure is very strong. We don't see this in other countries. And then small pleasures will become something that uh, rises a strong interest among the French, even though it's going down a bit with regards to the last edition. We lose a few points uh, on what uh, I consider a luxury, some pleasure, mo pleasurable moments. Uh, so we're losing a few points, six points, but still it uh, seems quite interesting to them. But on the other hand, they know that it's not too good for their health, but still they want to keep this little pressure. So all these innovations around that are innovations that will really raise their interest, with, that will interest them. Also, they pay attention to the product's origin. So if you uh, and if you mention the, or the product origin and quality, this uh, raises more interest than anything else. And this uh, was observed two years ago and is still there. A few examples of the type of products that uh, look like they're authentic and also that they offer little pleasures. Uh, truffle uh, chips or a chocolate made traditionally, uh, La Bruyère, <coughs> or uh, happiness is in the pot. They work, they make products uh, the traditional way. We also see that the French are curious about food. They want to discover new textures, new flavors. So all, experimentish, all exper experimentish, experimentations 
or all experiments around that uh, will be successful, but not too much. If the flavor is too exotic, then uh, it will not be so interesting. So one wants to deco- discover new flavors, but not too exotic. Anyhow, then millennials on the opposite are much more curious. They want to discover unusual products. And therefore, they want flavors, innovations, and authenticity. But price is the first choice criterion when they f- buy them, when they uh, shop. And the origin and the flavor is uh, also very important, but t- price is the uh, f- most uh, important aspect. And also, they pay attention to uh, discounts. Um, And this is even more so among millennials. But in spite of it all, we see that trust is back. But nevertheless, there's still some concern around food. 79% of the French think uh, that uh, food may damage their health. And this has gained 20 points since 2012. So it's a growing concern, and a quarter of the population finds it probable. And it's much higher than other countries, higher than the British, 55% the Spaniards, uh, 55% of the US, and 56% of the Germans. So this concern is typically French, 79% versus the rest, and therefore, it will impact their expectations very strongly. On the one hand, they will pay attention to what they buy. They look at the uh, ingredients, the labels, and the information on the labels. Anything that may reassure them uh, concerning what they consume will interest them. Also, free products will interest them. I mean, you know, conservative, preservative free, color f- colorant free, all this will uh, raise their interest. Therefore, they'll also be interested in very simple products that aren't too processed. Once they know everything that a product includes, this will interest them because it will reassure them uh, concerning their, its, its ingre- their ingredients. And all informations concerning that will really interest them. The more they know what's in it, the less there is uh, suspicious ingredients, the, the better they like it. On this slide, there's a lot of information, but what I'd like to point out is the antibiotic and palm, f- palm oil free. And this is what we see in our countries. And surprisingly, it's quite low in the UK and the US concerning antibiotics. But el- everywhere else there, it really is very relevant. And the oil, the palm oil free in France is very much so. But also in other countries, these are uh, relevant notions. A few examples of the products that uh, surf on that wave. Petit filou, it's 100% natural ingredients with no preservatives, with no colors, colorings. And Beatrice showed the Intermarché range. There's uh, carrots and uh, white cream, that's all. And the raw choc- choco, it's just chocolate. So the more natural, the least, the, the less ingredients, the better it is. We also see uh, the will to eat better. Surprisingly, we see it in the more seniors, and it's not so much among millennials. It impacts the, the, your, the food you have in your plate. You'll see, you feel that you increase uh, your fruit and vegetable consumption. The 40% declare that they have reduced their meat consumption. They also feel like they eat more fish. These are figures that they are that we see in their shop basket. When we see the figures of our colleagues in World Panel, we see that uh, people buy more fish and less meat. 
So it's not just a statement. It is true. They have lowered that meat consumption because sometimes you may feel like you've eaten more fruit and vegetable, but it doesn't really uh, show in your plate. But uh, when we look at uh, their purchases, it doesn't seem like they're buying uh, uh, too many fruits and vegetables, but they feel like they do more. And also, uh, they very strongly declare, you see, it's all in orange. They declare to they claim that they eat less processed food and ready-made food. The more ingredient again, the more ingredients in the food, the least they trust, the less they trust it. So they that's why they claim that they uh, consume less uh, ready-made food. So, uh, organic food mm, is. Uh, mm, raising uh, more uh, interest uh, they say that they eat as much as 44 percent say that they eat it as much as possible it's uh, a growing trend that's been growing for uh, years and it still convinces people and actually we see that uh, the innovation concerning organic food is less uh, raises less interest than uh, uh, previous years. Uh, so we see that it's become a habit thanks to com- producers who have developed a, a greater uh, organic product supply in its in supermarkets. But um, there's less innovations than in the past around around organic food. Then other. Uh, products that raise interest, uh, vegetables, anything uh, revolving around products that uh, 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 claim uh, health benefits will interest the French around uh, vegetables. So, Just a few examples of products that have really brought out this uh, vegetable aspect vegetable steak, vegetable based steak and also we've noticed uh, uh, olive uh, water uh, to help you uh, benefit from all the uh, strong points of olive and in the United States uh, chlorophyll, chlorophyll water, chlorophyll based water. Uh, more broadly, uh, we saw that uh, with regard to their expectations they really care about good food, good for the health and all the products that are going to offer real benefits for health. They are going to eat them as soon as they can. And all the innovations that are connected with this, uh, this kind of an idea about health and, and a kind of curative idea of health, that's less interesting for them. But the type of health that interests them is preventive health, all the food that can help me to preserve my health, keep healthy. And these are the types of innovations that will interest them, not necessarily food that's going to heal me, but uh, food that will help me to stay in good health. Same thing here for examples of products, uh, avocado pear butter, and for pregnant women as well, uh, a prenatal product mixing uh, kiwis and uh, cabbage and uh, kale and uh, ginger to help them if they uh, feel sick during uh, having morning sickness during pregnancy. And these health benefits, uh, are pro- products with health benefits, work really well, provided that we can get people interested. Eating better, uh, eating to stay in good health, also might have an impact on their behavior. And this is true. They do want to be more responsible and more uh, an actor of their own uh, consumption. At least that's what they say. They want to eat more uh, seasonal uh, fruit and vegetables. I say that in the conditional tense. They look at the origin and where the food comes from, so all innovations around these themes are going to interest them. Everything that's local, made in my region or close to where I live, is really interesting for them. And and this is growing compared with the last event. All the innovations about local products are going to really interest consumers. And they're also very aware of all the environmental issues. More than a third of the people you can see at the, at the top here uh, want to buy uh, products which respect animal well-being. And they also want to buy from the region. And a third at the bottom, they, uh, the third of them uh, buy products with less packaging. 
and a big majority, in fact almost everybody, think that it's important to waste food, uh, to reduce food waste. You can see this percentage here, uh, over 90% uh, say that it's very important and more than 60% say that it's important to reduce food waste. Less packaging. An uh, interesting figure is in blue here. Almost 74% of them are interested by doggy bags to take away what's left over from their meals when they go to the restaurant. And uh, this is not something that we do very much, but it's very, they find this a very interesting uh, idea. They're interested by all the innovations uh, to do with uh, respecting the environment and respect for workers and producers. And is this a socially, civilly responsible uh, idea that's, that's uh, impregnated the whole of the food industry? These are interesting products uh, from this point of view. We can see uh, milk here, illustrated from the producer and uh, linked to uh, protection. There's a link between protection of the producer and also less waste and less packaging and recyclable packaging. Uh, using, uh, you have a Monoprix that buys in partnership with Pavillon France for more uh, fishing, more respective of, uh, of the environment. And you can see other uh, labels which are very, have very high standards to do with sustainable fishing in France. And after all of this, unfortunately, uh, there's a lot of discourse about this. When we look at the uh, purchasing criteria, the environmental impact is 14th in the uh, 15 criteria and only 15% declare that they take it into account when they choose. So at the moment we're waiting, uh, we're ex we have expectations, uh, we're paying attention to this, so we're aware that we're working on people's consciences, but afterwards we see that in fact the price is a very, very important uh, choice criteria. So at the moment we can see that there's a barrier to, to actually act on these criteria. Uh, so is it to do with the offer or the price? Uh, we really need to look into this in more depth. Uh, in any case, raising their awareness has been done. And the, the consumption is going to change and develop, and is already changing and developing. And you can see this when we look at the short circuit purchasing. You can see direct selling has increased by 13 points compared with two years ago. So already we're up to 40% of French people who declare that they purchase it. That they, and this is a, a, a trend, particularly with the millennials, and it's growing. And when you can see this dub, doubling of a, a, it's very important for millennials, we can see that this, t uh, this trend is being confirmed. And when we're talking about millennials, we can see that they use digital a lot more. Normally, digital for France is not very developed. We talk about it a lot, but it, we, but really, uh, what they want, uh, what they actually do is to find recipes on internet and uh, this really needs to become part of our habits. But they also compare prices on internet. Over 50% of French people, if you can see the, here in green, over 50% of them do this. And you can see yellow, the, uh, from 17 to 35, they do everything more than the other French c concerning digital usage. When we look at the younger people, they are going to share more than anyone else. They're going to share photos of their food by the internet. They're going to use mobile applications much more than the other age groups. That's the last point. And they're also going to share in a, a brand community much more than the others. So more a third of them declare this. And it's very interesting to set up a link and strengthen the link between them and a brand. The, the young people say that they're interested to find, uh, to be part of a brand group. And the last point, before we, I close this session, still concerning digital usage, we can see that uh, our connected objects in the kitchen, there's 30% of French say they're interested in it and 11% who actually do this. So we, we could either say only 11% already, maybe it's not such a bad thing, there's already 11%. And uh, an application to, follow, to monitor the food or the calories, we have 27% that are interested and more than 21% of French people have already used this type of application. And also for the young people up to 35 years of age, the interest is growing uh, in these two solutions. And a lot more users, more than a third of them, have already used an application to monitor the calories 
I've done it personally. I had this good idea of doing it during the Christmas holidays. In fact, it wasn't a very good idea. And I could observe that, that when I, every day I use 600 calories every day during the Christmas holidays than my usual dose. It was very interesting, but, but maybe it's not a good idea during the Christmas holidays. But uh, during the other holidays, it's, or the, the rest of the year, it's very interesting to do this. Just to sum up, they have a good perception of the food offer to, that, that will meet their expectations for pleasure and taste, but at the same time, we can improve this, uh, particularly in the area of uh, price and uh, health offer. People are worried about their food, about what they eat, and it's stronger amongst the millennials, particularly a particular interest in the composition, uh, simple, pure uh, type of food where there's really no additives. They want to eat better and be in better health. They want to have all organic products, plant-based, which are better for the health. And they really want to be more responsible, socially responsible. And uh, they, we need to make them more aware of this. And we're going towards uh, developments in uh, consumption. We can see clear signs about short circuits of uh, food circuits, particularly amongst the young people that use digital applications more and this use is uh, uh, converting more and more people. That's what I wanted to say to you today.